All right, everybody, remember to hit the like and subscribe button. So if you're somebody like me who has a Jeep Compass, that's what this is, and you want to put a, and I, I got a camper down there. Okay, I don't know if you can see it. There it is. It has electric brakes. Well, the only way to tow it is if I put a uh, brake control module on my car, you know, the brake controller. Well, mine doesn't have a tow package, okay? It can tow it, it can't stop it. Okay, so we have to use the trailer brakes. A lot of people I've seen, I can't find a video where it shows you how to hook this up. So I did it the old fashioned way. I took this off. Okay, this is for my uh, brake control. Okay, that's what this is. This is when the brake is on, this is pushed down. Or, or when the brake isn't being touched, it's sitting like it is. This is pressed down, which shuts the tail lights off. When you press on the brake, this comes up, okay, and that turns on your lights. So that's what this hooks into, okay? And on this, okay, I couldn't tell you what every wire does, but I do know where the brake lights are, okay? So this red wire here on the end, okay, it is red. Um, that is your hot wire. That's what sends juice to this unit, okay? And then your plunger controls the rest of these switches, okay? One's going to be brake lights, one's going to be for your shifter, one's going to be for uh, ABS, the other one's traction control, all that stuff. So the biggest thing that I hear is which one is your brakes? It's this yellow and white, or this green and white wire right here. The second one, okay, this one right here, that's for your brakes. So what you're going to do is, is you're going to take your, um, your control module or your brake controller Okay, and you're gonna put a butterfly clamp on this. This is the cold wire, okay? If you look on the diagrams, it says to put the red wire, is it the red wire? Yeah, the red wire into this, okay? That's gonna control when this isn't plugged into anything, okay? This is cold, there's nothing, there's no power to this at all. This is your hot wire. So when you hit the brake, the hot wire goes through and then it hits this, which tells the brakes that the brake lights that your brakes are coming on. Okay, so when when you hit your uh, brakes on your car, that will tell your um, brakes on your trailer to start applying. You can obviously you'll be able to adjust your 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 electric brakes, but that's what this is. So if you have a two thousand, uh, it's a two thousand eleven to two thousand seventeen Jeep Compass or Patriot. It's going to be this green and white wire right here. Now, if you ever want to figure this out, like if you have to hardwire your um, your um, um, control your controller in your brake controller, what you're going to need to do is is you're going to need to open this up, okay? And you're going to have to take this off, okay? You're not gonna need this, okay? You're not gonna need this right now. What you're gonna need is, is something like this, okay? This little setup here that I have. Um, you get your alligator clamps. You're just gonna use one wire. You don't have to use uh, both. Just use one. And you wanna get something that you can stick inside those little slots. So in this case, we have, uh, these are actually rivets, okay? These are rivets. Um, so I'm gonna hook these on real quick, okay? Right now the brake shouldn't be on, the brake lights, because um, the brake uh, break is uh, depressed, okay? So they shouldn't be on, the plunger's depressed. So it's not pressing on it, so we're gonna hook this one. We're gonna hook this one into here if I can get it in. Just so you know, this, this is made for these, the, the pieces are like little slots, like little, oops. I think I need the thicker one to get it in there, right? So we're going to try to get this in. We're going to try to get this done before it starts raining because it's supposed to storm today. So let me get this in. Okay. It's in there. I'm going to try to do this without touching them together because I did that earlier and I popped the fuse, which for the, everybody that wants to know, it's a 10... 10 amp fuse. Let's get that in there. Nope. Uh, this is hard to do without a light, and it, my light is just a flashlight right now. Uh, let's try. Nope. Shit. Okay, 
Let me see. You, you have to bear with me because this is hard to see. Um, gosh, it is. There it is. Let me see if I can do this. There we go. Okay. So this can go in here, maybe. Yep, there we go. It works better when you have a flashlight. Okay. Yeah, kind of. That in there. Let's go see if the tail lights came on. Because I just changed the fuse, so this I gotta chuck it anyways. Yep. So those that's that's the lights, okay? So the red wire is power, okay? And the green and white one, some might be different, but mine looks like it says it looks like green and white. I think it's green and white, green and white, green and yellow, but it's this second one. That's the brake one. So that's what you're gonna put your controller into. Um, I know this looks like a like it would be a mess, but it's actually only two screws that hold the cover in down here and then it pops out. I've done this before because I put a starting system, like an automatic starter in here. Uh, and then once you do everything, you can put all this back together. Um, I'm gonna leave this off tonight because we're gonna do all this hookup tonight or tomorrow. That's when the stuff comes in. And then I'll put everything back together. When you're going to take this off, it'll still be plugged in. Just give it a little twist like this and it pops right out. And then when you wanna put it back in, push it in like this, twist it back up. Um, so it's not difficult to get to. And what's funny about all this is, is this is gonna be the last month that we own this Jeep and I'm getting another pickup truck, uh, which, kind of pisses me off because I just put all my lights in and I just did a bunch of work to the front end and but I'm getting a brand new truck my wife said so she's tired of me driving the SUV um so when you hook this all back up the only reason why we're going to leave it loose is because we got to put that butterfly clamp on here and all that butterfly clamp does is allow us to put two wires onto each other and that'll be a lot easier than splicing because this only comes out so far and as you can see, that's not very far. And I'm sitting Indian style on the ground. So that's gonna be easy, easiest bet. That's how you're gonna find which wire does what. Again, if you're by yourself, okay, you're gonna have to plug it in somehow. And so everybody knows, this is for any car. When you're doing stuff with this, there's always a power line and it's not always red. Sometimes it's black, sometimes it's purple, sometimes it's green. There's so many wires under here, you gotta watch. So on the ends of these little things, either end is usually gonna be your power, okay? So you're gonna have to check it. You're gonna have to get a meter like this one, okay? And a lot of people always ask me what to set this at. So um, you're gonna set it to 60, which is the closest to um, your, um, that's the closest to 12. And then you're gonna Pretty much figure out the combination. Either plug it, plug your red into this end or plug your red into this end. But one of these two is gonna be your hot wire and you wanna check them all, okay? So that's that's what you need to do. But yes, for, for the Jeep Compass to hardwire it in, it's that green and white wire.